this is kind of challenging when you think about the scale of Facebook, understanding who people are and applications everywhere. I lead the graph and identity research team uh, on the core data science team at Facebook in Menlo Park in California. The graph and identity research team is a applied uh, research team that's centralized within Facebook. What that means is that we develop novel algorithms in the area of um, statistical modeling and machine learning, uh, graph inferences, and then we go work with different teams across Facebook um, to help them have and have impact across the family of apps. When I was in school, I don't feel like data science was a thing yet. Um, so I went to engineering school in France I was really into like applied math and things like that. And at the time, if you wanted to do applied math, it was mostly for finance and that wasn't really my thing. Um, so I still took as many applied math classes as I could that were not pure finance classes. Um, and I started having an interest in like transportation and like operations research, how like all of these gets um, like interact with each other. And I ended up doing a master's in like urbanism transportation and I was doing an internship uh, which I did in Berkeley and that was about traffic estimation from GPS data and there the professor I was working with was like hey you should apply for a PhD and by the way you should apply in electrical engineering and computer science and I feel like I should have failed myself when he told me that because I was like translating that back to France back to French and feeling like no there's no way I'm doing that but then I I looked at the classes and I was like, oh, this is basically what I would call applied math in France. And so I got into that um, and I still considered myself more of an applied math person than a CS person. Most of my CS classes were stats classes. But then I did an internship at Facebook, more thinking that I would like, okay, I pick up some hacking skills or whatever, but not really convinced that I would find anything really interesting, um, but that really opened my eyes in terms of what was available for people with a like scientific uh, background in industry. Um, so I interned there at the end of my PhD and I've been there since then for the five, five, five years. I remember even in, in elementary school I had this teacher who would give us like uh, problem sets and it was like okay you do number 33 and it was kind of like once you're done with the prime you go back and she checks your answer and you get another one and I remember there was like a few of us and it was basically a race and I'm, I'm not competitive at all but uh, it was still like okay who's gonna get it that get that first so I've always kind of had that like I really love I really like I really love math and, um, and sometimes there's been times when like it's been like crap math is really hard and thinking that I would stop but then eventually I was just like it's also really beautiful and I really like it. Yeah so I mean as I, as I said we're um, like centralized team so like the idea is that we go work with a bunch of different teams so across uh, throughout the years I've worked with teams from like Mobile Partnership, we just released uh, a big announcement about the Actionable Insights project and some of the efforts on connectivity. I work a lot on like understanding who people are and how we can uh, how we can help them have a meaningful experience online, as well as how to protect them, um, stay safe online. So we've been doing a lot of things with graphs uh, and understanding how the structure of graphs can uh, help us make better predictions. This is kind of challenging when you think about the scale of Facebook because the graphs have like a scale that's really hard to deal with and in some sense it's easier to make individual predictions without thinking about how they interact with each other but I feel like thinking about how we can uh, how we can scale that will add like a lot of valuable information to to the models that we're building. What really got me interested in the field uh, originally was the idea of like transportation and urbanism, and there's just so much that we can do to improve like um, like how public entities work with data to 
make transportation more efficient, to make cities more efficient, to drive like uh, the next development of cities. And that's something that, even though it's not really part of my day-to-day -day work, is something that I'm still finding fascinating. Um, the other example that I've worked a little bit on is using data to understand connectivity and understanding like where people are, where is connectivity available and where where are their disconnects and what can we do uh, what can we do to help um, so this is applications everywhere that are like retie you to the real world and for me it's been re really, uh, exciting to tie like interesting and challenging intellectual work to actual like, things happening in real life I feel like some people is, are going to tell you like, oh, you should make plan and you should know like where you're going to be like five or 10 years from now. I think it's good to like sometimes reflect on yourself and like think about like what really matters to you. But at the same time, just kind of being curious and letting life happen is also something really nice. Like I would have had no clue like living in the US like or even doing what I'm doing now, like 10 years, 10 years ago, and life is still kind of a discovery every day. Yeah.